Ready? How was, how was that there? Yeah? Yeah. What did you expect from yourself? Um, I didn't know what to expect. Obviously I've been in training, so you just put lots of stuff in the bank uh -huh. and then you make a drawer and see what happens. Uh -huh. I'm really happy with the fact that like, I had a lot of stumbles, so something to work on there. Yeah. But I was strong coming home. Uh -huh. I think I'm, I ran from behind for a long time and actually gained some places. Yeah. I mean, long as, they, as long as my body's allowing me to do what I'm doing, every mm. race is a blessing. Because people are going to keep talking about the fact you're still here, aren't they, Jess? <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> and, and it doesn't bother me, I'm happy to see you. But does it bother you to keep hearing the question? No. No? <laughs> no. I mean, the question is, okay, let's apply some sense to the question. Mm -hmm. How many athletes would want an Olympic Games in their hometown? So, there's the answer to the question. <laughs> right. So you're happy to keep, I mean, your body's allowing you to keep going until as that As long day. as it's nice to me, why not? I, yeah. I love this sport, I love what I do. Uh -huh. I love the travelling, I love competing, I uh -huh. like training. Uh -huh. Why would I change it? No, I hear you, I hear you. What's the objective for 2011? Of us, prepare for 2011. Of course. Stay I... injury free and uh, stay happy. For real? So, I mean, you're not putting any pressure on yourself, really. You're just going through. Is that experience? Is that just as a result of having been here year after year? It's just, I'm in a nice place in my life at right. the moment. That's the only way I can describe it. I don't want anything, I don't need anything. Yeah. I'm not stressing about anything. Mm -hmm. How can you impart some of that positivity on your fellow British athletes and, you know, so that they can feel just as, uh, what can I say, serene as you do? I had a young athlete, I won't say who, he came down to my room last night and just was asking me, not giving up the same mm -hmm. type of questions. And um, I told him that you have to remember why you did the sport. Yeah. What, what brought you here? Mm -hmm. You know, and people talk about funding and stuff like that. But when we were 12 and 13, we weren't funding, we just wanted to run for us. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, you've got to take yourself back there mm -hmm. to why do I do this? Yeah. What makes me go to practice? Who am I doing this for? Mm -hmm. Do this for myself first, my family, my friends. Tris, let me ask the hard question. Track and field doesn't notoriously pay that well. No. How do you get by? I've worked, I, I'm capable of doing a good, good job. Yeah. I have savings, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have good friends, and. Kind of hustle a little. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Hang out with the right people. Uh huh. And make moves. Yeah. You're in America, right? Mm -hmm. What part? Tell me about life over there and how it's treating you, the crew. I've had an interesting three and a half weeks. I've been in um, Bradenton, Florida, oh. at IMG Academies. Okay. Um, you know, the tennis school. I do. Uh -huh. the but I've been down there with the American football players. Um, they're preparing for the combine and for the draft. Right. So they asked my coach to come down and. Um, you know, train them for the combine. And he was like, you know, but I've got track and field athletes and they cut into the deal that he could bring us down there too. Fantastic. So I've been hanging out with 300 pound plus guys. Okay, not getting involved though, <laughs> right? Because you're, you're here in one piece, so I take it. Yeah, but I mean, Watching from they've, been, we've been training them like track athletes. Yeah. They've been doing my warm ups. I've been out there at seven o'clock in the morning warming up with them. Yeah. <laughs> warming up with them. Um, weight room, obviously with my little platform to the side, yeah. but um, it's just been nice and the fact that I was the only track athlete down there, you kind of have to represent track and field and show how serious we actually are with yeah. what we're doing. So, so, so there's, a, there's a kind of, it's another aspect to your life and your training that's keeping it interesting I suppose, because that's not the everyday experience for an but athlete. Then, I've been in this sport long enough and I've been in this body long enough to know what I need and know what I don't need. My coach says that he is a consultant, he's not a coach. He will tell me what to do and something like, I want to do it. Yeah. He will provide the same training sessions. But there's room for negotiation. Like this week, I offered to run a time trial. Okay. He kind of touched my forehead, like, are you all right? But I know that I needed to leave there on a high. And I needed a time to know where I was at. I PR'd in my time trial. Nice feeling. <laughs> all good. So generally, good relationships all around, feeling well. I'm so really I can't good. describe it any other oh, way. I, I, I totally understand, I get it. So, well, good luck for the rest of the year. Thank you. I know that we'll do this again anyway. I hope so. Oh. <laughs>